But first up, a woman who'd be welcomed into the bosom of any teacher or parent. Or would she? Just when you thought truancy had rid your life of your most challenging pupils, along comes Yolanda Beckles to shepherd them back through the school gates again. The spring term began with her controversial TV series, Don't Mess With Miss Beckles, but then she got her own bullying session at the hands of the media. Please welcome the queen of the TV classroom, enjoying her purple rain, Yo Beckles. <laughs> Good to see you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Listen, fantastic to see you. Uh, what's with the pink, though? You, you can't come over all fluffy and nice <laughs> after wearing purple and being evil for all this time. I know, evil. That's not that's not the word I'd use. I thought I was I was empowering, uh, encouraging, um, supportive. Um, that's what no, the Christian brother said to me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, that's why I decided to wear pink today rather than purple, as I thought that you said you didn't want me to be taken seriously. Oh, no, so when no. I'm serious, I'm in my purple. As if you wouldn't want to be taken seriously, Yolanda. Know, but for those who didn't see it, describe the show for us. Well, it was three uh, one-hour observational documentaries of my intervention with nine children and their families in a very middle-class, leafy school in North London called Fortismere. Um, the first programme was all about some year 11, three boys who were underachieving. We all know about the underachievement of boys. Uh, the second programme was looking at ethnic minority children. And then the final programme was about, you know, the year 10's preparation for GCSEs and what life is really like. It was when you tackled the nice white middle class kids that people had a problem, you know, in the Daily Mail and other people. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Do you think that was anything to do with being uh, a black and be a woman, that uh, talking to our uh, lovely white kids like this? I, th I, I think it was a combination of things. I think that I kind of... Uh, presented a program that showed a true documentary about the way that families interact with their children. Um, the families were chosen by the BBC. They agreed to participate in the program. All I did was enter their lives for 12 weeks. Um, it's, it's been interesting how I've been blamed for the whole upbringing of these children for the last 15, 16 years, but then teachers, you know what that feels like. It was a, it was a new experience for me. Uh, but the children were lovely. Um, I think my issue was that their parents, for me, had kind of given up a lot of their power and their control. And so we had some, some boys who had taken back their control and their power. The parents were a waste of space, weren't they? Yeah. Did anybody say it? <laughs> so I mean, the parents were like actual children in some cases, yeah. weren't they? Yeah. So how do you get round that if you're a teacher? Well, <laughs> but with, with great difficulty, I'm sure. Um, for me, what I think what astounded me about particularly the first three uh, families, well, the, all of the women were highly educated, very, very bright women in their own right. They all ran their own companies or they had very senior positions in their jobs. But they just kind of handed over so much of their power to their children. And when I came along with a structure and a format, it's year 11, your teachers, you know it's like, you know, I say that life's over, as I did at the opening of the documentary, because that's how I talk to all of my students in my programmes. They were just like, well, what's this woman talking about? It seemed like I was talking a completely alien uh, piece of information. But you were quite sort of uh, firm, do you know what I mean? I mean, I would say about uh, two and a half centimetres away from corporal punishment. Um, I thought I was firm but fair, actually. Um, but it, they'd what, obviously never been spoken to, to like that, th these children. I mean, the, the bottom lip was quivering kind of uh, most episodes. <laughs> the teachers in the school were quivering, I think, as well, when I <laughs> arrived. But I think that, you know, for me, in the kind of upbringing that I had, inner city kid, have been successful, have made it, have followed a strategy with very loving parents who supported me, guided me, give me, gave me right directions, but also set boundaries. Um, you know, they weren't very into sleepovers every night. We weren't allowed to drink. I wasn't allowed to take drugs. I mean, there were just rules that I just simply couldn't get my head around with those families. I found it really difficult. But what about teachers? How have they reacted? What's, what's your post bag been like? And don't say it's all been very positive, actually. The teachers <laughs> have actually come out really fighting for me. I think teachers have felt that one of the things that they have to grapple with every day is children who just are not used to boundaries or authority. And what I found is that teachers was, was saying to me, you know, what we liked about what you were able to do is that you felt non-negotiable. And I said right up front that this is how I do it. This is my style. I'm not prepared to change it. So if you uh, don't buy into that... But the thing is, though, that, that you were saying that the one terrified kid sitting opposite at the desk, <laughs> it wasn't a room full of 30 of them, um, you Well, know? I, I train 30 children every Saturday and they all get exactly that uh, clear message. But you don't let the cameras in on that one? Yeah, well, well, I would happy to, but the, the, the BBC wanted to set me up, of course. So they did. And, and for me, it was a great experience. I'd never been in a school every day for 12 weeks, so I'd... I started to take my hat off to teachers who do that every day because I obviously I can gear myself up for my Saturday session and go all hammers and tongs, but to, to be that full on every day was pretty stressful. So what's next for you? Crime Watch? 
I mean, as a presenter. <laughs> as a presenter. I wouldn't mind. <laughs> uh, um, uh, you know, I think I'd like, I'd like to run a school. So if any of you got any offers, I'd like to, I'd like to show my strategy full on um, for a whole year. Put me in a school with my own kind of teaching ideas, with because um, I don't just work with teachers. I work with personal development experts, people who are experts in their field. Bring that kind of different approach to school. I would have them doing aerobics first thing in the morning. I'm very, very different. You've done so, the ads, so listen, bless you for coming thank on. You. Thanks very much. You'll land a bag. Thank you very much. Thank you.